All right, welcome back to another video. Thank you for watching. If you're someone that supports our channel, we do appreciate it. We got something a little bit different for you here today. We're actually gonna tackle a gear review on something new to Sitka uh, as of this year, 2022, and that is the Equinox Garb Collection. It's for Turkey, and uh, I went ahead and rocked that this last turkey season. I'm gonna let you know what I thought about it. I decided to go with the Optifade Timber camo pattern. Uh, that's something that I prefer since I, I have that same pattern uh, for some of the other waterfowl items. And I'm trying to, you know, purchase Sitka on a budget if those two things go together. Basically, I, I want, I'm, I'm big on things matching. That's just me, it's my personal preference. I'd rather things match. And I'm trying to mix as many of these items into the different things that I hunt into the different seasons. So being able to utilize it in turkey season, but then also being able to utilize it in waterfowl later in the year. And then even uh, maybe tackling some, some whitetail is something that we're looking at doing. So with that being said, we're gonna go ahead and, and dig right into the review. We're gonna start at the top and work our way down. Uh, the first item that I was able to get my hands on this year for turkey season was the Equinox Guard hoodie. And I have to say, not, not a big difference from the core lightweight hoodie. So if you already have one of those, you're not gonna see a very big difference here. Um, I do have one. I did not have one in the um, Optifade uh, camel pattern that I like. So I went ahead and, and purchased this. Some of the key differences I would say is um, the actual face guard that's inside or the face shield. It's more of a Nesh pattern versus uh, just the regular pattern that these are material that these come in so I did feel like it breathed a little better being that it was warmer weather So I will give them that that is a difference, but outside of that. I mean, it's basically the same exact It's the same exact item. So not a, like I said not a big difference But it is something that I decided to go with and I can't say that I'm disappointed with it um, I do like this mesh so even, even for the early season in waterfowl I think it's gonna be a good item. I also like that it breathed it got pretty hot this year in Ohio I didn't feel like I was sweating my butt off or anything. So very pleased with this. I will say that as far as insect shield, the only way that this is gonna work is if you actually have it tucked in and you know the, the ticks can't crawl up under it. Don't make the mistake of leaving it untucked, which is something I prefer to do with all my shirts. The ticks can just crawl right up under it. So for this to work effectively, you do have to have it tucked in. All right, and like that, I do have the shirt on. It does have, same thing as the core lightweight hoodie. It has the little uh, slots for your thumbs there. Nice fit. I do order an extra large. I like it to fit a little bit, a little bit loose on me in case I want to layer up underneath it or something like that. It's got this pocket right here, uh, which is great for some calls or, you know, if you're traveling lightweight, going after some turkeys and it's got a mesh back, which I kind of like. Moving on, um, I, I went ahead, I do feel like Sitka is a little bit overpriced on their gloves, but I went ahead and purchased these, and I have to say, I really, really like these. I love the cutouts on them, um, the index finger and the thumb, and it's on both of them, and I like it so much, I've started uh, all the gloves that I use around my property for work, I've, I've started cutting these two, two uh, fingers off on those gloves. I just really like it. I find that it's, it's uh, I can do things better. I don't like gloves. I'm not a person that naturally just gravitates towards gloves. It has to be pretty cold for me to want to put them on. Um, I did this for concealment purposes. I found that they breathed. My hands didn't get soggy all day. And then I was still able to handle my gun, handle my camera. Um, I was still able to do things without feeling like I needed to take them off each and every time. So another, another call out is, um, don't leave this, you know, you got to tuck this in your gloves. This is all about if you, if you don't want ticks, if you want to really utilize the insect shield, then you've got to put it on correctly and making sure that the sleeves go down into the gloves and your gloves come up over it. 
if you don't do that, then they crawl right up your sleeves. So like I said, shirt tucked in pants, sleeves tucked in the gloves, okay? Moving on to the next item, I went ahead and purchased the uh, Equinox Guard Pants. And I really, really like these pants. I actually might end up getting me um, another pair down the road. Um, just because when it's hot, so, you know, early season, or I'm sorry, when you're working turkeys early in the year, it has a tendency to get hot in the middle of the day. And I found that this year, these were perfect. Um, they, were, they were very thin material. You guys can kind of see on the inside here. They're, they're just very thin and they're comfortable. I don't feel like they chafe. Um, so I can, I can walk around with just these and nothing underneath them. And then I also have, um, I, I haven't purchased the Sika yet. This is just Cabela's brand thermals. I can throw these on underneath them, the pants, and I can, I can, I can handle some pretty cold weather with those and these pants on. Um, and then I can also shed those and just run these if it's, it's getting warmer. So I really like these pants. A couple of things to note, reminder, tuck your shirt in. It doesn't work. Ticks can still get in if you don't tuck your shirt in. But a couple of the things that I think are, you know, neat in my opinion is I like that uh, it has these pockets here. There's two of them. And everything, all the pockets in here are mesh. So you can open them up and use them as a pocket or you can open them up for some ventilation. You can get some air. If it's getting hot, you're hiking up some and down the hills down Southern Ohio, um, you can open these up and you get some airflow. It helps cool you down. Um, they not only have them across the, the front of your thigh, uh, but they also have them running down the sides here. And these are strictly for ventilation. Um, I've seen pants in the past. I believe First Light actually has pants with, with ventilation uh, zippers on them and they don't actually have any any mesh or anything it's just an open hole for lack of better ways to put it but um, again it's all about how you set yourself up here when you're putting this on this is clutch right here so these pants have this material down on the end of the pant leg and basically oh you put your sock on tuck this over your sock down into your boot and then you pull this pant leg right over your boot and the ticks can crawl up, but they can't get necessarily under your pants because it's, they're gonna get stopped in here. One of the call outs I do have though, is if you're bringing these home, make sure you pull these up like this and make sure there's no ticks that crawled up underneath there and they're just, they're just hiding up in there because uh, I did notice that ticks would crawl up in there and they would just bury it, burrow up in there and uh, you might run the risk of bringing ticks into your home. So you do have to check this gear before you bring it in after a hunt. And overall, I mean, just, just a solid pant. Very, very uh, form-fitting, very comfortable. I like that Sika does this on all their pants. They have the little pocket for the knife and they have this like, um, I don't know what material that is technically, but it, it's pretty durable. So you can stick your knife into it. The clip doesn't wear or tear onto it. Um, and then, like I said, all the pockets have this mesh. So it's pretty neat. So that is basically, the uh, system that I wore, um, I am very happy with my purchase. I don't feel like it's something that I purchased and I regret. I stayed, uh, it, this matches with the rest of my items. So right here, I do have um, the gradient hoodie. As you can tell, the camel patterns match and it is a, you know, acquired a material. So I can, I can utilize this when I'm doing uh, waterfowl in the fall or if I'm going after some whitetail, this is, this is a setup that I can kind of use in all three di different hunting seasons there. And uh, if it gets even colder than that, um, like in the waterfowl time of year, I, I started on the, I really like the Dakota series. Um, so I have the Dakota vest. I also have the Dakota pants. And this, this wouldn't have the protection on the end of the pant legs necessarily for, for ticks but it does have the insulation. They're a little bit thicker. So um, when it gets cold, I can utilize those for, for whitetail. If I'm, if I'm hanging from a tree or something, I'm sitting. And then I also have the Dakota hoodie. Now, I don't know if you can get away with hunting this for uh, whitetail because it's loud. So I don't know if I can necessarily get away with using this for whitetail, but it matches for my waterfowl line. I also have, um, you know, obviously the waders for waterfowl. And I also have uh, the Hudson jacket. So 
everything matches, it all goes in, in line. I was not able to um, purchase the vest, the turkey vest. Um, I really waited on it and waited on it and by the time I decided to go ahead and move forward with that purchase they had already sold out so that is one thing about Sitka when they come out with something new it doesn't last long so that's my review it's my first time really putting together a review video so I do expect some criticism as long as it's constructive let me know what you thought in the comments if you haven't already please subscribe to our channel we plan on putting out some more content later this season we're trying to post videos uh, at least once a week. Some of those videos, you know, it's off season. <laughs> we are challenged with coming up with content on top of working full-time jobs and, and being with the family and, and doing things of that nature. But hit us up in the comments, like our videos. You can also check us out on Instagram and Facebook. Uh, we, we've been able to start working with some of the, the landowners here in our local area. And we've already got some permission on some properties we're super excited about. Hopefully we can put out some good content there. That's the review of the uh, Equinox uh, Guard Collection by Sitka. Um, it is awesome. I do highly recommend it if you are hunting turkeys. And um, I guess we're going to say that's a wrap. So thanks for watching.